Welcome back to Sportsline, everybody. We're pleased to be joined in studio for the hour by former Lady Vol basketball star Brittany Jackson. She's now a, a mother, an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. She does it all. You're like you're like Wonder Woman. <laughs> I don't feel like Wonder Woman. <laughs> I don't have the cape. <laughs> We've been talking about uh, this great new sports drink that uh, you uh, are helped launching here in the Nashville area. It's called Roar. We're going to talk more about that as the hour goes along in case you missed anything in our first segment. But first, we got to talk about your old team, the Lady Vols under head coach Holly Warlick. And a roller coaster season for them. They get out of the gates hot. They're 10-1, and one, and then they lose six in a row. Yeah, it was a tough streak. It yeah. was tough to watch. Sure. Um, since, they've since bounced back. They've won five of their last six, but they're kind of teetering on the NCAA bubble, which is unheard of for UT women's basketball. Right, it is. It's, it's you know, that, those six games were, I mean, you know, just especially talking to, you know, a couple of the teammates that, that I played with there. I mean, it's it was tough. And, you know, I mean, and, and you hurt for them. I mean, you yeah. hurt for Holly. I mean, Holly, I love Holly to death. I mean, she was, um, you know, she was with me all four years, obviously. And, um, you know, Holly was the good coach. Holly was the, it's okay. <laughs> you know, Pat just chewed your butt out, you know. It's all right. And so, um, you know, it, it was. It was a tough. And um, they have bounced back. They had a great win Sunday. Um, but it's, you know, they, um, they've they got it. They've got to get some discipline I think mm -hmm. on, on the defensive end and, mm -hmm. and um, on the offensive end as well but um, you know Lady Vols basketball it's just it's got such great tradition right. and I mean you know we were just talking on break that you know some of these these girls well these girls that are there now I mean they were you know they were in diapers when I was playing and you know I went to four final fours and if you didn't go to a final four it was right. a disappointment I mean that was minimum if, right no 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 if you didn't you win the championship <laughs> it was a disappointment I mean I remember you know my senior year losing in the semifinals and it was like we didn't couldn't talk on the flight back and I mean yeah. it was like oh my gosh you know she was it was a disappointment and you know it's just that was that's just the tradition at Tennessee mm -hmm. and so you know it's tough right now but you know uh, you just, as a former player, and we just you, you just try to rally together and, and hope that you know we can bounce back and and try to stick behind them. And a lot of the former players, we have a one uh, one sixty one. That's the players that played for Pat. Yeah. And we have a group on Facebook, and okay. so um, you know a lot of us like we try to get to as many games and try to rally and and try to talk to the girls and you know because they don't really know they right. were younger they don't really know when I mean it's been so long it's been 10 years since we've been to the final four wow so, so um, know, it's, it's kind of like Miami football right when like Michael Irvin and those guys yeah. go and talk to the guys and say hey this is right. this is this is a tradition we expect you to uphold and I know it's not easy right but like you said I mean you know you went to, you went to four yeah. final fours that was that was minimum and it, like you said yeah now that you have to get there you have to win it um Holly Warlick, we've talked about her, uh, you and I, extensively. Um, it's never easy to be the one that replaces the legend. You like to be the one that replaces the one that replaces the legend. Right. But, you know, I think overall Holly's done a terrific job, and I know that the scrutiny and pressure she's under, um, like I said, like you said, you know her. You, you, you played for her, and she was the good cop to Pat's bad cop mm -hmm. when you were at Tennessee. Um, Let's hopefully this isn't the case, but let's let's assume that things don't go well on Selection Sunday and the Lady Vols don't get in. As you, as you said, like no no Final Fours in about a decade now. What do you think this could mean for Holly Warlick? You know that's tough. I mean, it's something that honestly you don't even think that you would ever think about. I mean, the right. Lady Vols not getting in the tournament. I mean, that's... Right. that's <laughs> it's, it's just like, ridiculous to even think about. Right? And it is. I mean, you know, you don't really I mean, even when I said it, I was like, I can't believe I'm saying yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, I was watching the Mississippi State game, and, and when they... That, I was watching it, it was a four-point game, all of a sudden it turns to 30, and I hear the announcers saying, you know, we're on the bubble, and I'm like, yeah. did they... I had to turn the TV up. I'm like, it's just hard to realize. I think, especially as a former player, when it just... It's hard to even think about and yeah. you know Holly w when you I, I would never ever want to be in her shoes I mean yeah. even when it when you know when she instantly took over for Pat I said there's no way you could put me I mean people always say you know how hey, you gonna go up there and coach no I wouldn't take that <laughs> job if you paid me the any amount of money but you know you'll never replace Pat and, and right. Holly never tried to replace Pat Holly has done a great job Holly um, you know I couldn't imagine this you know the scrutiny that she is and, and those players are going through right now um, 
it's tough. But, you know, if they don't get in the tournament, that's tough. You know, yeah. and Coach Fulmer, he, he's getting a lot of scrutiny right now. I know, you know, I'm on Twitter. I'm on social media. Right, I get right. tweets as well. And, and I mean, it, is there starting to be some rumblings now th on, on, there on is, social media? There and, is. And, and, you people, know, and people kind of going towards Coach Fulmer, who's the AD, of course, Philip Fulmer, the AD and, of Tennessee. And I love Coach Fulmer. I right. love Coach Fulmer. I'm so glad that they finally got him back in there. Yeah. I mean, I loved him. I hated that they ever got rid of him. Yeah. So I'm glad that Coach Fulmer's back in there. And I know, you know, I have so much confidence in him. He's going to make the right decision. And, um, you know, I just – there, it's just it's tough. I mean, you know. I mean, it's they, a standard that was that was is. set. You know, I mean, we're talking about this off the air. You know, I'm I'm a New York Yankee fan. Mm -hmm. They it lose. Is. They, I mean, lose it, they lose a game in late April. I'm right, miserable. Right. It's I mean, one out of 162. I can only imagine what the Lady Vols fans, you know, not only in Knoxville but all over Tennessee, that you know followed your career, that followed Pat and and all the great players that were there and all the championships and all the Final Fours. Yeah. I can only imagine you know, what they're thinking right now. I mean, now. like when we went through the losing streak, I mean, you know, and it's like they lost three in a row and they hadn't lost three in a row in so long. <laughs> right. and, I'm, and most most teams, I mean, that's nothing, you know, but it's like as Tennessee, it's such a high standard that, you know, it's just you hadn't lost three in a row, four in a row, five in a row. And, you know, it's just, it's tough. Like I said, I would never want to be in Holly's shoes. And, you know, as as former players, we just stick behind her. And, you know, mm -hmm. when people come up and, and or on social media or come up to, you know, we, we just stay positive. Because yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's just that's what you have to do. You got to, you got to be there for them, bounce back, right. and and just. It's try a family. To, it's, it's a sisterhood. A, it's a family, right? and that's what it's always been. From yeah. that's why I went there. I mean, it was that's why you called Pat, Pat. You called Holly, Holly. You know, always called them by their first right. name because it was a family, and that's something that they've always stuck by. And it's like you know, even after I graduated. That's really when you realize what they did for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Holly and Pat and, and the coaching staff. 100% graduation rate. You, you, the don't, whole deal. you don't realize all that stuff, like that you went through. Why am I going through this? You don't realize it until right. after, like the discipline that they teach you, right. um, until after you graduate. And so, you know, all those things and, and all those times and hard times that they went through, you know, I mean, hey, I've, I'm here for Holly. I, I've got her back, and, sure. and she's, you know, She's doing the best she can. She's there for those girls. And in the locker room, you know, we're there. We're in the locker room. The fans and these people, it's, you know, your diehard fans, they're, they're still going to be there. I mean, Tennessee right. fans have always been your loyal fans. Very but, loyal. But you're right. It is a high standard. Holly knows that. The right. team knows that. So it's, um, it's tough. But, you know, to see them not get in the tournament, that's going to be a tough day because it's it's something that you just never expect to right. see. You don't even see. think about it. You don't even think about <laughs> You're it. You're thinking, so, all right, what seat are they going to be? Know, I what? think if they can yeah. finish out finish out these these last four, I think four games, mm -hmm. um, you know, finish out strong, finish out the SEC tournament strong, and make a run that they can. You know, if you're right there in the bubble, surely they'll they'll make it in there. So, I'm going to stay positive. I'm sure. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, you well, one thing you mentioned. Uh, need to be a little bit more disciplined on the defensive end. And mm -hmm. listen, coaches can coach till they're blue in the face about defense. You know this. You played mm -hmm. basketball your whole life. Defenses want to. It's it desire, is. right? Mm -hmm. It is. I heard it plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I heard it plenty of times. I have dreams about it. But um, yes, uh, it is. You know, I just watching this team, and you know, and then I'll see Holly. I mean, it, it's Holly can coach and tell you, tell you, blow in the face. But you know, it's just, it is. It's hard work, and it's when, it's when times are tough. When you've lost four in a row, five in a row, and you're, I mean, it's you're hearing the media and sure. you're hearing all these things and you know we probably didn't have, walking through campus we didn't have and, social right. media when i was there right. thank goodness <laughs> but you know now i mean social media and it, it's you hear all these things and so you know it's it's tough not to get frustrated and sure. not to to go at each other i'm sure in the locker room and, and different things and so i was walking through campus yeah hey yeah. listen I, I played rugby in college okay yeah. thank goodness there was no social yeah. media <laughs> it's like i mean we didn't have that so yeah you know yeah defense is is something that you know it it is. It's tough. It's hard. It's hard nosed, and and that's something that just watching this team and when they win and when they play their best, it's they are. But they've got to get consistent for sure. Best guess. They get in. They make the tournament. I think so. Okay. What, what was it like for you? You know, growing up as a basketball star in the state of Tennessee. Once you made that decision that you're going to go into that pressure cooker that is going to the University of Tennessee, being a Tennessee native. 
I mean, what was that? What was what, what was it like for you at first? Obviously, you got used to it, but I mean, at first, no, it had... I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the movie. I read the books. I heard the stories. I mean, it was a dream come true. I mean, there was nowhere else. I mean, growing up in Tennessee, I wanted to be a Lady Vol. I wanted mm -hmm. to play for Pat Summit. Um, you know, I went to. I went on a visit to Georgia, I went to Alabama, I went to Clemson, but when Pat offered, there was no question. I still, yeah. even l watching the movie of her making them throw, run until they threw it, I still wanted to go. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but um, you know, as a freshman, just going up there, you know, we had to be there before summer school, um, for summer school, the summer before our freshman year, mm -hmm. it, you know, it started then, and um, it just, you know, it was tough. She was tough. I mean, she was mental she made you mentally tough on mm -hmm. and off the court and um it never got easier but it was you know i always tell people like if if you talk to a player that played four years for pat and they say that they never thought about leaving they're lying <laughs> because <laughs> it was it was tough but it was so worth it I but mean, it, you know it seems like the great coaches have that ability mm -hmm. right you know i grew up a giants fan and i know bill parcells was very tough on his yeah. players and i mean he would really just break them down to where on sunday they just wanted to go out and mm -hmm. just destroy people, and that's what they did. You know, Bill Belichick the same way. Yeah. You know, and, and it seems like everything I've heard, you know, Pat was the same way. Yeah. She wanted the practices to be tougher than the games, pretty oh, much, yeah. right? And, I mean, she, she expected things out of you sometimes that you didn't even realize you had. Yeah. And, and like I said, the things that you, like, former players, Shemekwa Holtz called to make a catching, they would come back and tell us these, like, you'll realize what she's doing after you graduate. Right. We're like, oh, okay. At the time. You're, you're Whatever, <laughs> you know, like, but, you know, it's just, it's so true when you graduate and realize, I mean, the discipline that she teaches, like, my work that I do today, just mm -hmm. being on time, you know, right. if you're early, you're on time, if you're on time, you're late, things like that that she right. teaches you, um, you know, she had the definite dozen, and, and just, it's just things like that, that she really teaches you, and the mental toughness on and off the court, I mean, if you can go four years with her, you can, I mean, my opinion, can do anything, <laughs> you know, like, but it was, you know, it was so worth it, I mean, I went to four Final Fours, and just, you know, yeah. traveled to Italy, and, and just, and Greece and the places she take, you know, basketball took me all over the world. Yeah. And so it was, you know, a wonderful experience. I wouldn't trade it. I would do it all over again. And um, it, it was just, you know, Pat is so special to me. I, I try to to give back, and and you know, right. I also have a basketball academy that I train kids, and it it I try to I find myself give it things that she is taught me, you know, I try to teach to these kids, and I, I see myself sometimes, I'm like, am I being too hard on these kids? <laughs> but, you know, it's... Is there a day that goes by that you don't think about Pat in some, some way, shape, or form? No, not a, not really, because, um, you know, my mom actually was diagnosed with the same exact thing a year, two years ago. Um, so, you know, it's, it's affected my life for the past seven years. Wow. So, yeah. you know, it's, um, it's just not really, I mean, Pat is just, she Im has impacted my life from the day that I met her. I mean, I remember when she came in Bradley High School in Cleveland, Tennessee, <laughs> and watched me play basketball, you know, and yeah. I mean, I was just as in awe as the fans and the student section, you sure. know, I, I just, it was, I grew up watching her coach and I wanted to play for her. It's so. like Bear Bryant going to visit a yeah. recruit in Alabama, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, you know, I've always just, you know, you respect everywhere we traveled. I don't care if it was Yukon, Alabama, Florida, they respected her, you know, yeah. they respected her no matter what, even though they were cheering against her, they respected her. So, um, you know, she really impacted my life. All right, before we go to break, I know you get asked this a lot. What's the maddest Pat ever made you? Oh gosh! <laughs> is there is there is there a, is there a I story that's the maddest up? I ever made Pat? I was like, oh. yeah, e either um, either or. There's like, what's your best Pat Summit story? You know, Pat played a lot of mind games. <laughs> it wasn't like she got up. You know, I'd always had the AAU coaches that got up in your face right. and yelled. We played at Mississippi State. I had. 25, 20, it was my come out game my freshman year. Mm -hmm. 25, 26 points. I'm like, yes, you know, feeling finally, I'm yourself. feeling good. Like, I I'm belong. coming out yeah. next game, you know, gonna start, gonna get to start my freshman. I don't come off the bench till maybe two or three minutes left in the game. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, I just had to, 
Okay, we go into practice the whole week, like just on me, on me. And I'm like, what's going <laughs> on? Like, and it's just, I mean, I'll never forget. I mean, I literally, it would just mentally, she just so, I mean, and I didn't get it. I mean, you know, you're a freshman, you're coming right. in there. And just mentally, I mean, you look back now and you understand it, but I remember how mad and just upset. And, <laughs> and it was like I went to the end of the totem pole. Okay. But I'm like, okay, wait, I just, I'm coming out. I slowly was, was playing more, finally had my breakout game, 25 points. And it just mentally, she was trying to break me down to make right. me tougher. And it just, oh, but that was She never wanted you to get comfortable, no, right? No, but she, and she, no, never, yeah, ever. Yeah. And so it just, you know, things like that that Pat would do that you didn't really understand at the time, but, you know, you realize over time what she was trying to, you know, mentally tough, make you mentally tough. Hmm. Yeah. Former so. Lady Vol, Brittany Jackson is here with us in studio talking about uh, this great new electrolyte infusion organic drink. We're going to talk more about that. We come back, though, I'm going to ask you about the state of the women's game in college basketball. And I want to get your thoughts on the UT men's team just coming off being number one in the country. I want to get uh, your thoughts on how far they can go this year in March Madness. More with Brittany Jackson as we continue here on Sportsline.